came again. Service? Oh, I told you we shouldn't have brought him, Chip. Oh, come on, Pop. He's got to learn sometime. After all, it's an experience for him. It'll be an experience for us and all, being drummed out of the Brotherhood. Service! Service! You are not at Wimbledon, built up. Good old dad, we're really living tonight. Yeah. One shandy. Oh, thanks. That's all right, son. I'll put it on your dad's bill. Oh, well, thank you very much. Eddie. Yes, Dad? Go home. Certainly not. I'm just beginning to enjoy myself. <laughs> Gentlemen, I must apologize for the behavior of my son here. In a weak moment, I agree to let uh, him accompany me. Now. He's all right. Of course he is. There you see, Pop. Come on, gentlemen. What's the next item on the agenda? Oh, yeah. Come on, Charlie, where is it? Hmm? Oh. Item three, the annual presentation. What's that? Will you keep quiet? That, for the benefit of our young friend here, is the award made every year to the member who's given the best service to this society. Now, last year, it was Brother Fred, our popular barman. Go, Fred! Go, Fred! Fred. This, year, this year, by popularity vote, it goes to your friend, my friend, the man who I can safely say, without fear of contradiction, and I have no hesitation in saying it, the Sam, man... Sam, you are wasting valuable drinking time. <laughs> Brother Alfred. Me. From us to you, with the best of luck. Me. The mug of the year. Uh, <laughs> speech! Uh, speech! Fellows of the Lion and Unicorn Intimate Drinking Society. Fluids. Friends, beer brethren, I am deeply touched. You all know how close this fraternity is to my heart. And if I can serve it in the past, as I have done in the future, that is all I ask. I tell you, Jeff, when you've got friends like this, you usually buy a round. I was just about to pray. What are you fitted with, radar? That's right, mate. Now, come on, who says a ticket in the pub raffle? Yeah, it's a good idea. Here, I'll have the two. Pop, are you all right? No, 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 I just feel lucky, that's all, tonight. <coughs> Ten to eleven, that settles it. Eddie would never be out this late if it wasn't with them, and we all know where they are. But the pub's so past ten. You know as well as I do, it takes them ten minutes to get out and ten minutes to stagger home. <laughs> that's them now. Well, I can't hear anything. How do you do it? I've had years of practice. Now remember, ignore them till they're within range. <laughs> they're in there. Now, Eddie. You pop round the passageway and up to bed. Well, I'm not tired. <laughs> do you want Ma to know you've been out with us? I don't care. I'm not afraid of her. Oh, I wish I could be as brave on three shandies. Pop, couldn't we all pop up the passage? No, no, no. We've got to cover his retreat. Now, will you do as you're told? All right. All right. Good night. <laughs> right then. Dead nonchalant. Of course. <laughs> Good evening, my darlings. Oh, blimey, Jeff, look at them. All they're shot off is a guillotine. I wouldn't be too sure about that. Where's Eddie? 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 Eddie in bed. Eddie! Leave it all. I suppose you've come down for a glass of water. Water? What'd you take me for? A goldfish? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mert. <laughs> Hello, Mert. <laughs> Mert. <laughs> Where have you been? I've no been... lies. I've been up the pub with Daff and Jed. Daff and Jed? Lovely couple. Aren't we missed you? You didn't miss me. I was there, remember? We're trying to forget. Eddie, go back to bed, son. Stay where you are. Well, I am going to bed. Joyce, you know best. Oh, no. Mum's got something to say to you, and I don't want to cramp her style. So I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Good right night. So it's spread to Eddie now, Eddie. Oh, Mum. What? I might have known. I should have took warning when you led him astray. But Ma, all Not right. that you needed no leading. You, a fine father you are. That uh, pub up the road means more to you than your old family, doesn't it? Ada. Just keep them in business. You turn the lot of us into dipsomaniacs, wouldn't you? Ada. Don't you aid me. <laughs> Teaching him your drunken habits. 
dragging him after that sink of iniquity. No, he's all he wanted, wanted was... Wanted what you wanted. For our father, that's what you wanted. Well, you're not having my Eddie. Mum... Why, well, I'm sorry, but I must speak. You're doing Dad a great injustice. Oh, yeah. Yes, you are. I went up the pub because I wanted to so no, bad. No. I did. And it's not a sink at all. It's a jolly friendly place and I had a jolly good time, so there. Well, I'm very glad you enjoyed yourself. Yes, I did. And they think the world of Dad up there. They should do. He keeps them in business. <laughs> you should have seen how they cheered and clapped when he stepped forward to take his prize. Eddie! Prize? What prize? They held a raffle and Dad won it. Eddie, you look tired. No, I'm not. Uh, go uh, to bed. I am waiting. What prize? It was so... It was uh, beer! Beer. Oh, just a couple of bottles. A couple of bottles. It was 12 crates. 12 crates. We brought it home on the trailer. Well, of course, it's, it's not stopping here. Of course. No, we're getting rid of it. Next Saturday at the Beano. Nips! Beano. Hey, yo. Uh, Saturday. Well, yes, Ada, I was going to tell you, love, later on Sunday. <coughs> Beano. Well, yes, um... As a matter of fact, you see, seeing as I won this beer, and the boys, you see, were so decent to me tonight, they, they well, look, they, they gave me that. Uh, yeah, well, I thought I'd take them out on the Saturday, give them a little run out, a sort of treat. Your boozy fluids and 12 crates of beer in my buttercup, I'll watch it. I've give me word. And I'll give you mine. The beano's off and the beer's going back. <laughs> Oh, go easy on those cornflakes, Jeff. What's the matter? Am I eating too much now? No, it's not that. It's the noise. I've got terrible head. Well, can you beat that? Three shandies and he has a hangover. Well, serves you right, quizzling. Oh, Jeff, stop it! I didn't mean to blow the gap. I didn't think that... Stephen! Well. Oh, Jeff! Oh, shut up. You're acting like a pair of children. He is acting? Knock it off, Tufty. Oh, I don't mean him. I mean you and Dad. Like two kids who've lost a Sunday school treat. But this wasn't going to be a Sunday school treat. So I gather. Well, it's knocked on the head now and it serves you right for being underhanded. But we were going to tell you. Well, now we know. And we've saved you from making fools of yourself. Thank you, darling. How can we ever repay you? He has a hangover. Has he? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you should have worn that last night in your great cake off. Stop picking on him, both of you. Do you want your breakfast now? No, thank you, my dear. I could not eat a kuram. Oh, you're back, are you? Where you been? Out, my love. Obeying your orders. I have been round all the boys telling them that the vino is cancelled. <laughs> What did they say, Pop? They didn't say nothing, Jeff, but it was the way that they didn't say it. Well, you're well shot of that lot in the beer. I'm taking that back this morning, Ada. Must I? Yes, you must. Twelve crates returned, unconsumed. I shall never live this down. Oh, yes, you will. So stop moaning. And one day will you, you will thank me. And with the money we get from the beer, we'll buy you something you really need. Like a nice new vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Blabber mouth. No, lay off him, Jeff. You couldn't help it, could you, son? And I'm sure that you would help us if you could. Oh, Dad, you know I would. Yeah, of course you would. Well, I never thought I'd live to see the day, but this is it. Pop, she finally has your lick. Certainly looks that way, doesn't it? But then, things is not always what they look. Are they? <laughs> No. Pitch the boy. <laughs> oh, you mad? They might be watching. Now then, at approximately 1,200 hours this morning, that there trailer with its priceless cargo will set out on its last ride. 
Now, I will drive it round to the front of the house. And leaving the engine running, I will pop back into the hall for a final briefing from your dear mother. Now, while we are talking together, a stealthy figure will appear, jump into the driving seat, slam home the clutch, and steal the car, the trailer, and the beer. Brilliant. How do you know all this? Because I arranged it, you silly fat nut. Where do you think I've been this morning? <laughs> then what happened, Pop? The car and the empty trailer is later found abandoned. Yeah, but why stage a robbery? Couldn't you pretend you took it all back to the pub? With Ma waiting at home with her hands out for the money. What? Suppose she phones the police. Ah, she will. That is part of the plan. And while she is engaged upon the telephone, the boys will be offloading the beer in the back alley. Pop, you're not going to stack it in here. Yes, that's the one place your Ma, Ma will never think of looking. In here, under lock and key. I don't like it. It's too risky. The greater the risk, the greater the gain. You leave it to your father. He knows what he's at. Now look, son, I'm going to put you in charge of the offloading, all right? Eddie. Yes, Dad? Have you listened careful? Yes, Dad. And you're not going to give away this little scheme to your mama, are you, son? Oh, no, Dad. Good boy, because you are still in the car. <laughs> Come out, Ada's round the front. Come on, one, two, three, line up. Oh, where's Eddie then? I'm here. Oh, what are you supposed to be? Meet Peter Brady. Oh, you said you wanted me disguised. Disguised, but not mummified. Now, will you get round the front? The car's been there for ten minutes. Now, go on, get round the front. Oh, all right. Right then, all set. All, all set. set. Good luck then. Trying to do running a dry. Help! Help! Help, friend! Yes, my darling. Where have you been? No, I, I, uh, I came back for something. What? Uh, something I forgot. Well, did you get it? Uh, no, I didn't. Well, what is it? Uh, uh, big gloves. You've got them on. <laughs> so I am. Uh... Alf, do get going. You'll have that pub shut. Yes, well, there's, there's, uh, there's no rush, you know. They've only just opened. I never thought I'd live to hear you say that. Yes, well, I'll be off then. Alfred, if you don't want to take that beer back, just say so. I'll get Eddie to do it later on, and if you won't stop that engine... No, 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 I don't, I don't, love. No, no, I'm going now. I'm going now. Now! <laughs> Ada. What is it? Kiss me goodbye. Oh, Alfred, <laughs> me, I'm going to stop that engine. Look, there's somebody getting in the car. Stop him. Stop this. Oh, oh, the oh, 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 I'll phone the police. Eight, nine, nine, nine. No, no, no. I'll phone the local copper shop, darling. It's always, the same no, thing. No, always deal with people you know, darling. Oh, Al, well, come Two, on. One, one. Hello. Morning, unicorn. Is that the police station? Hello, is that Al? Yes. Uh, may I speak to the desk sergeant, please? Desk sergeant speaking? Yeah, I think you better handle this, Ada. Yes, I better add. Hello, is that the police? Look, my car's been stolen. Thanks, please. Buttercup. <laughs> oh, no, that's the car's name. My name's Larkins. 66 Sycamore Street. Yes, that's right. I oh, shall so want full details of the missing property. Very full. Oh, you can have them as full as you like, only do get her back and look. There was a, a, a trailer and 12 crates of beer. <laughs> the bodywork was yellow. What do you mean, what kind of yellow? No, of course I don't know what it was painted before it was painted. Yes. Oh, I reckon we've earned that. Well, you can say that again. I reckon we've earned that. <laughs> come on, Sam. Come on, you're... Done. You're standing about, mate. Where's Eddie? I sent him off to ditch the car and trailer. Marvellous. Everything going like a well-oiled machine. Now, Charlie, you're slacking, son. How about you having a go? Me? I'm the controller. Pa, aren't you supposed to be controlling Ma? Don't you worry about your Ma. She's well tied up. <laughs> Look here. 
It was a square trailer with wheels. I've told you what colour it was. Oh, for heaven's sake. Alf! Yes, madame. Where have you been? You're looking for clues. Well, you won't find them out there, all this copper is now asking some daft questions. Ah, that's only the way that they have their methods, you know. Oh, I should hope so. Well done, the fluids. Mission accomplished. Oh, I'm fair creased. Now, mind Charlie, think of all that lovely beer you say from a fate worse than death. Mm -hmm. Here, you reckon it's going to be safe in there? Eh? At the Bank of England. That's the one place Pop can really call his own. I look after the key for you if you like. All right. Oh, you, Justin Sam? I would trust you with my life, me old friend. But not with 12 quakes of brown. <laughs> yeah, what about the Beano on Saturday? Yeah, how are we going to get that up past Ada? It's all taken care of on Saturdays. Ada and Joyce go shopping. As soon as they've gone, we load up and we are away. You know, we might even take Eddie. You know, if he's left that car and trailer all right, I wouldn't like it to get pinched. Don't worry, Pop. I told him three times. Park it somewhere safe where it'll be found quickly and returned. Wonderful. Well, that's every eventuality covered. That, even though I say it myself, is remarkable planning. <laughs> now look, friends, don't hang about. Otherwise, it might start to look suspicious till Saturday then. When we carry off the loot, and in the meantime, success to crime. To crime. crime. Excuse me. Oh. Yeah. Good morning, officer. Is your name Alfred Larkins? Yes. We've got your son at the station. Oh, yes. Oh, no. <laughs> what for? Suspicious behavior concerning a car and trailer. When apprehended, he was trying to park it outside the police station. <laughs> That does it for me. No be no for him. Yeah, what's he been saying then? Quite a lot. And coupled with what I heard you saying just now, I'm taking you all in for questioning. Come on. <laughs> Mrs. Larkin! Mrs. Larkin! No. No, I do not know the age of the last owner. Look, it is not my husband's car, it's my car. I told you all that at the beginning. Look, why don't you stop asking questions and go and look for it? I say, Mum, I just passed the police station and they've got Buttercup and the trailer parked outside. Go on. Oh, I say, I do owe you an apology, don't I? You do have your methods, don't you? I'll be right Mrs. round. Mrs. Larkin, oh, Mrs. Larkin, Joyce, something terrible happened. What? I got Eddie up the police station. I... And a couple just came in your garden and took them all away. Oh, what away? No, it was all them. The men. My dad, Mr. Larkins and Jeff and that old man, Charlie. Well, what were they all doing in our garden? Oh, I heard it all. They were putting crates of beer in the tool shed. They was doing what? Oh, I better tell you from the beginning, hadn't I? You better add inside. Right. We'll go through it once more. You can't keep us here. We're fluid. I'm a work of natural and importance, mate. I'm a personal friend of the sanitary inspector. Once more. Now, according to your son... My son? How can you possibly suspect an harmless-looking object like my son? All you got to do is look at him. You look at him. Do we have to? Yes. Come out, you. <laughs> Get the coat! <laughs> now... Where did you steal the beer? We did not steal the... the will you tell him, Jeff? <laughs> well, Sergeant, in a way we did. But conversely, we didn't. That is to say, we had it all the time, although not in actual possession of it. We were, in fact, trying to misplace it. So we had to steal it in order to keep it. But we lost it. And now we haven't got it anymore. Thank you, Boyd QC. Well, oh, oh, yes. oh, very good. Oh, sit down! Anderson, sir? Go round and fetch the wife. Uh, fetch the... Uh, 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 look, uh, no, I wouldn't do that. You see, she's... She's, uh, uh, she's very... Uh, Fragile. Yes. Uh, right, yeah, very, very frail. Uh, d delicate. Uh, uh, feeble. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, Fred, mate. You show your face round my pub again, that's all. A fluid. I'm having you cashiered. And we'll have our mugs back. Never mind, Dad. We can all make mistakes. No, Pop. No. It's no use. Send for Mark. Can't we just plead guilty? 
No, Pop. Go on. Get it over with. All right. Sergeant. Fetch the wife. Will the lady require assistance? No. And while you're there, check on the beer. It's in the tool chest. Yeah. Here's the key. Anderson. <laughs> You've been long enough. Well, I've been endeavouring to obtain a reply, sir. There's nobody in. No, there must be. Acting on your instructions, I proceeded round the back. I observed the interior of the tool shed, and I ascertained... What? No beer. No, no, it's not true. No, it, 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 it must be... It, it. This is Ada. No, she wouldn't. She couldn't. She must have! Lord Seymour. So I said to him, I said, I don't care what's happening to your barman. I want you to come round and fetch that beer and bring me the cash. And I want you round here in half an hour. He was round in 20 minutes. What is this strange power you have over publicans? Holding raffles in pubs is illegal. <laughs> Not that I'd have given him away, but he did help. And so did the spare key to the tool shed. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, madame, perhaps a request for you? Oh, um, how about my old man says follow the van? <laughs> no. Oh, well, perhaps something a bit more classy, eh? How about the prison bit from your travitori? Oh, with pleasure. Now, we've got the theatre to do. I scented them to disguise the smell of beer. I'd agree with your father on one thing. You can't beat a good vino as long as it's kept refined. Mrs. Larkins, didn't we ought to do something about the men? All in good time. Now, that's for the theatre. Then we'll have a bit of supper afterwards. Bill, please! And we'll bail them out in the morning. <laughs> <laughs>